This is my God story. It probably won't amaze you, but from what this story told me, it makes it to where whatever you think is your opinion, and really it doesn't affect me. When I was about six years old, my father, he got a problem where he got tired really easily, and he went up, ended up getting kidney stones at one point, and I mean, he went to Minnesota, I mean, all this. And he was just getting all this bad stuff. And it just, it scared me as a kid. I, I wasn't, I was afraid to show it to people, but I was scared. You know, I wasn't with God at that point. I was like, God, why are you doing this to me? You know, I'm an all A student. I'm so nice to people. I mean, really. It just seems like this would not be something you do to me. But, you know, I'd go to vacation Bible schools as a kid. I'd go to church, all that. I'd maybe get spiritual for a day or two, but then it just leave. Soon after that, I kind of understood when I was about 12, when I went to one VBS, I understood what it was. That it wasn't just doing it at one point. It meant doing it the entire time, every day of every week of your life. I had to do it. I played baseball, and um, most of the time when I was younger, I did it mostly for me. But that taught me, hey, I need to do it, not for me, but for him. So I do a little sign like a Catholic does. But it's not because I'm Catholic. I'm Baptist. But it's to show people that I do this for him, that I trust in him, that I'm telling him in my mind, God, I'm doing this for you, Lord. You're going to help me do this, but I'm doing it for you. I'm going to get a hit for you. I'm going to walk for you. I'm going to do something good for you. Every inning I do it. I'm doing the same thing. Every pitching I'm praying, God, I'm doing this for you. Help me, Lord. Everything like that I'm doing. I mean, that's just how it was. And people like Braden Smith does at some point. He asked me why I did it. I'm like, why wouldn't you? Even if I strike out, I'm doing it. Because I'm saying thank you, God, for giving me the talent to do this. But, you know, a couple, a year, about a year later, God kind of talked to my heart and said, I want you to go teach others. He told me he wanted me to go teach other kids about what I did, about what I did wrong, and how they need to do it right, that BBS and all this, take it serious. Don't let it go in vain, and keep it straight through. Keep serious, because one day it's not going to be there. It's not going to be there, and you're going to be on your own. That's why God saved me. He didn't save me because... He loved me that much. He loved me, but not enough to save me that much because I was so far away, even at a young age. He saved me so that other people would know about my story and would not do it. That's why I made this video, was to tell people, hey, go tell others that they need to stay with it, even at a young age, because it can affect your entire life. I mean, I was a bit Christian this whole time. Yeah, I wasn't with God. You know, when I was like four, I became a Christian because I felt it. But then I let it go away. And that's not what you do. You keep it going. And that's why I think the only reason I'm still saved and why I'm not supposed to be in hell right now is to tell others what I did and how to save them. Because if I'm not, I'm not helping them. And I'm not doing what God wants me to do. So that's where I got story. That's about it.